cable function in NanoCAD is probably the most powerful one in any mid-priced CAD package. Let's see the sorts of things it can do. Entering the table command brings up this dialog box and it shows the kind of tables that can initially be created by NanoCAD. So a custom table is uh, really means a table that we customize. And then the other ones are we load the data from a database as other files such as an Excel spreadsheet and reports. Uh, here we can enter in a title. And then this part's a little bit tricky. This first number is actually the width in units. And down here for rows, the 12, 8, 12 is the height in units, whatever it is, inches, centimeters. And then the second number is the uh, width in number of cells. So you can see here it's three cells wide and down here four cells deep. But we can drag this number uh, to any size you want. And then finally down here, these dots indicate the insertion point at the uh, various corners. So let's, uh, let's take the upper left one, click OK, and there's your initial table. With the blank new table in place, you can edit its size using grips. So I'll drag this one down, and I'll drag this one over, and with this one, we can relocate it. When it comes to filling the cells with data, that's a bit different. I'm going to double click it and up pops this dialog box. It's very much like a spreadsheet program on its own. It's got lettered columns, numbered rows, uh, you can uh, select columns, select rows, insert delete rows, have multiple pages, and then up here all sorts of functions such as sorting, merging and grouping rows, having multiple pages, even supports automatic data fill. So if I stick a one here and then grab by this corner, voila, all ones. To see them in the uh, table in the drawing, you close and there's all the ones. Double click to return and uh, let's stick a three here instead. Select these two rows, drag across and you have increments by two. So that's a pretty fast way of quickly filling up a spreadsheet. The most common function in a spreadsheet, particularly with bills of material, is we want to add things up. And here's the summation function, and it's going to add up everything in, first, in the first row, A3 to E3. Press Enter, and there's your total. To edit the formula, right-click and choose Expression. Here's another dialog box that accesses all the formulas available in NanoCAD. So we have here summation of A3 to E3. Let's change that to E5, which will total up all the numbers on the entire spreadsheet. And down here in this lower part, you can see what the answer will be. Click OK. There's the 35. Close. And here's the updated table. Tables in NanoCAD can also handle bills of material automatically. So here I have a block of some gravel. I'm going to select it, enter the table command. And this time we see that we have all the properties here that we come to expect to see of a block. The only one I want is name, and I'm also going to give it a title, call it uh, bills of material. Click OK. Now here's our basic table. To expand it, I'm going to double click it and you can see how it's already been set up for you with a report template and things like that. Well, first thing I want to do is uh, add a column and I'm going to merge these two with the group selection and then in here I'm going to put in the word count but I don't like the spacing so I'm going to choose centered. You can see here that this uh, refers to the block and it, there's a green outline telling you which block it is. I'm going to right click, choose expression, and uh, there's the expression that NanoCAD created for us automatically. Now we want to do the counting, so I'm going to click here, right click, expression, and use this count function with uh, brackets. And there we have it in there. We can already see a preview that there's going to be a one in, in the table. 
Let's close the table and there we go. Now let's add more blocks to the table to see what happens. So I'm going to select, copy this block, paste it here, paste it there, and as I do, rows are being added. If I were to erase a block, rows get subtracted. Now what we actually want is that there be a single line of the bill of materials for a specific block that counts all the instances of the block. So instead of two of these, one of these, and the number two over here. Here's how you accomplish that. Double click to bring back the table edit, and then click the group and merge button. Here we have the row grouping and merging dialog box, and it specifies rules for what happens to the rows that are part of the group. I'm going to click append rule that's the first thing you want to do is have a new rule and I want to uh, group rows by A. So I double click the A there and it says do not sort but we uh, want to sort them ascending. Click OK and now I can already see the result down here. It previews a single row with the number of blocks. Let's test it out by adding more blocks. Close the dialog box and we have that result. Take a block, copy, paste. There's three and there's four. Four blocks counted.